Uh, hi, my name is Nasiruddin Shah, and I'm here with uh, the film Waiting, in which Kalki Koklin and I play uh, the lead. It's directed by Anu Menon. Go see it. So, to begin with, our first question is um, Waiting is a story about a very unique relationship. So, how was it like to pull this role off? It was a very. See, one, uh, in Indian movies, one normally doesn't get an opportunity to play relationships like this. It is an unusual relationship, and um, everybody is expecting it to be a romantic film, which it's not. It's about a friendship. It's about uh, coping. It's about helping another person cope. And it's about dealing with your own traumas. Uh, I've always loved Kalki's work. I've seen her on the stage. I've seen her in various movies. And uh, the fact that she was going to be in it with me was a, a, a very important factor. But the most important thing was that I felt that this film has been, this script has been written, it comes straight from the heart. It's not a clever attempt to, to hook an audience or anything of the sort. It's a deeply felt uh, script and uh, I was very moved by it when I read it and I thought I'd really enjoy playing this part and it wasn't a terrible strain because the scenes are so so truthfully written and if that happens you know and that happens very seldom it happened to me in a film like Masoom in a film like uh, Monsoon Wedding in a thing like Ghalib where the scenes are so truthfully written that the actor doesn't really have to do much you have to only embody the character and try to communicate with as much clarity and completeness what the writer intended to communicate. So you have been in the industry for such a long time and considering all the experience that you have gained, where do you think is the fine line between parallel cinema and commercial cinema? See, this I have always thought that this distinction itself is kind of harmful. I don't like it. It's a distinction that's been created by the audio, by the by the by the media. Parallel cinema, experimental cinema, new wave cinema, alternative cinema, offbeat cinema. I mean, these are all words. Every film is a commercial film by its very nature. Even to make a very small film costs an obscene amount of money. You know, it runs into crores. Even if you want to make the the tiniest film, like Waiting. Um, so, and. Uh, and film by its very nature is commercial. You are obliged to make a movie which will recover its investment. The investment is so large. So there are only good films and bad films in my opinion. Okay, uh, so you, you have mentioned earlier that uh, when you read the script of the film you felt like it was the most amazing script you had read. So can you tell us what exactly did you like about the script? The fact that it was dealing with a very simple believable and poignant situation. The characters were drawn as they would be in real life. The interaction between them was a very interesting one and the thought of portraying a relationship of this kind which is which is teetering on the on the verge of a romance but it doesn't quite get there considering our respective age uh, uh, ages. But it does end up in being a very deep... I have a feeling these two will be friends for the rest of their lives. And that to me was the most enduring part of it. So, could you, could you share with us uh, a few things about your, uh, about your acting? And uh, like, what are the few things that are always on your checklist while you're acting? Learn your lines and don't bump into the furniture. That's the most important rule of acting. If you can follow that, Half the battle is won. Not the entire battle, but half the battle. Unfortunately, a lot of actors feel their job is done when they've learnt their lines. It's not. It only begins when you've learnt your lines. And the next time you watch a play, just try and observe how many times the actors bump into the furniture. <laughs> Thanks a lot for your time.